So, we gotta talk about the Los Angeles Lakers. After a failure of a season where they were a playing team once again, the want to return back to championship contention was obvious. This had to be an aggressive offseason in which the team had drastic upgrades in the margins to give LeBron James and company one final shot at getting a championship. They had the right start to the offseason, firing Darwin Ham and immediately searching for his replacement. But it turns out finding a head coach is harder than it seems. And after a recent failed Hail Mary attempt, it only adds more questions to this team's future. So the Lakers started their head coaching search with a number of candidates, and early on, one name stood out. That was JJ Redick. This was an interesting decision by Los Angeles for a couple of reasons. JJ Redick has no professional coaching experience. He's recently retired, and as of right now, he's commentating for the NBA Finals. Oh, and he has a podcast with LeBron James. A lot of people think this is why JJ is getting a shot. LeBron James has made it known that he doesn't have much time left in this league. And it kind of looks like the Lakers might be focusing more on getting LeBron a farewell tour that he would want rather than maximizing their chances at winning it all. Or so we thought. So we got a Hail Mary attempt. Dan Hurley, a back-to-back -back NCAA champion who is excellent when it comes to X's and O's as well as implementing a successful system. The Lakers went all out in their presentation trying to lure him away from UConn. They gave him a contract that would make him one of the highest paid coaches in the NBA as reported by Woj, but as good as the offer was, Hurley declined, and now no one's too sure what the Lakers will do. Previously, JJ Redick was reported to be the front runner, then the whole Dan Hurley thing happened, and no one is really too sure if JJ is fond of the position anymore. Actually, it seems like a lot of the candidates aren't too fond of the position. Brian Windhorst from ESPN made some really good points recently with talking about the Lakers coaching search, and it's that the job just isn't really attractive. The future of this team is really up in the air with LeBron's career dwindling down. Will the coach that they decide to hire be the coach of this team, say, in three years? Who knows? Coaches want job security. They want the opportunity to not be the scapegoat. And of course, they want to lead a team with their own system without their star player kind of going away from it. All of that isn't really a guarantee in Los Angeles. But besides the coaching carousel that they have going on, we have to talk about other moves that this team needs to make. The draft is coming up, and the Lakers will have the 17th overall pick. The Lakers could get an impact player with that. The problem is that they could also use this pick on, say, Bronny James. Of course, having him play with LeBron and fulfilling the Kings want. There are a ton of talks that this could happen. I think it's pretty clear that Bronny won't have much of an impact during his rookie season. And in my opinion, I don't think this would be the right move. And then we have free agency. The Lakers don't have much money to use, but they do have enough to get some death pieces. Most importantly, they have to re-sign D'Angelo Russell, who should have some competitive offers. There is no backup plan in losing D'Lo, so the Lakers kind of have to go all out to retain him. That might mean overpaying him. Lastly, looking at trades, they have picks to use, as well as the contracts of guys like Austin Reeves and Rui Hachimura. But once again, with LeBron's future unclear, how willing will this team be to get off of their young players and draft capital? It's a lot of questions that the Lakers must answer. Their future is kind of murky right now, but I believe that the draft will be the first step in knowing what direction the Lakers want to go into. It's kind of tough right now being a Lakers fan, but maybe it'll all work out. We're just going to have to wait and see.